Hey, what is up guys? New tech begins here. And this is a Blu-ray <coughs> disc. It's got 25 gigabytes of storage. It's got this nice label on it. 25 gigabyte, six times speed. All right. Let me just grab one and show you what this is. Looks like this. The side here is thicker than a normal DVD. So uh, this one's got uh, 25 gigabytes of data. It's a Blu-ray disc, recordable, six times speed. And yeah, it's got this nice mystic blue, right? Mm, this, uh, these Blu ray discs are recordable and are 10 pieces in one box, it will cost about. 15 box something like that and um, yeah now is the time to buy these discs uh, because uh, nobody uses them anymore and the prices are very cheap so uh, for you it will be very convenient to, to buy those uh, those discs a box like this of DVR DVD plus R's 50 pieces will cost you like uh, 20 bucks I got two boxes of those they are always handy to have and if your uh, burner DVD player burner supports uh, blu-ray disc writing then go ahead and uh, purchase one of those too because it's always handy to have to make backups to put all, all your photos and videos etc just remove here the label it's got here this nice label it says AccuCore is the symbol of Sony high performance AccuCore in the symbol de la haute qualité de Sony scratch card interior and stable writing stability on écriture archival reliability it's got archival reliability archivage fiable temperature durability also resist aux variations thermiques all right this is uh, good Let's go ahead and let's take one of these uh, Blu-ray discs and insert them into our combo drive and see what will happen in Windows if we use Windows. Then I'm going to show you the same procedure in a desktop Linux environment. And then I'm going to show you the same procedure in a Mac OS X environment so you can see what will happen with this disc when you insert it into your combo drive so without further ado let's go ahead and let's do this so let's go ahead and let's insert a blu-ray disc into our combo drive let's see in the windows desktop what will happen just bear with me one second okay so let's go ahead and let's insert this blu-ray disc and see if it's recognized by the computer just wait a few seconds and as you can see it will pop up with the message how do you want to use this disc can use it like a USB flash drive, save, edit and delete files on the disk anytime. 
or you can use it like a CD DVD player, burn files and groups, individual files and use it like a master CD. Let's cancel it. If you go into Nero and have a look at Nero video, you will see that if you click on Blu-ray disc, that the 25 gigabyte of disc is recognized. You go to disk info, you can see here also Blu-ray disk minus R, capacity more than 23 gigabyte. Um, my combo DVD drive I'm using is the Asus BW minus 16D1HT. I highly recommend this drive, it works very stable and uh, Okay, so let's close up this window here. Now let's do the same uh, test. Now let's do the same test in a Linux environment. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's test it the same disk. Let's test the same disk into a Linux environment. I'm using here Linux Mint. 18.3 let's go ahead and let's insert the disk okay so let's go ahead and let's insert this uh, blu-ray disk let's see if it's recognized by the computer let's, let's wait a few seconds And also in a Linux environment, you will have the message that the disk is recognized. Blank Blu-ray disk minus R disk. You have just inserted the medium. Choose what application to launch and whether to perform this action in the future for other media of blank Blu-ray discs, which is really nice. So for the software, I highly recommend Brasero. It's not installed yet, so let's go ahead and let's open up Software Manager. And if you type in Brasero, find the application. It's a burning application for GNOME. If I go to install, continue. Enter your extremely secure password. and launch the application and as you can see here we got the projects it looks like Nero almost audio project data project video project disk burn an image go to tools mm, we just check the integrity blank blu-ray disk empty right Yeah, so it recognized the blank disks and it has got 25 gigabyte of free space. So that is really nice. All right, and now let's go ahead and let's insert the DVD into the Mac OS X environment and see how it will, uh, yeah, what it will do. Just bear with me one second. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's insert this Blu-ray disc and see if it's recognized by the computer. And now let's see what will happen in the Mac OS X environment. All right, it will be recognized. So it says you inserted a blank Blu-ray disc, choose an action from the pop-up menu or click ignore. Can open up, you can open it up in Finder. Let's try it to open it up. 
and as you can see here it will give an icon with untitled blu-ray disc go to get info you'll get the info about the disc don't fall us all right so I'm um, using the device Asus PW16D1HT 25 gigabytes of media capacity which is really nice all right that concludes this video for today and I hope that it was uh, useful for you anyways I highly recommend to uh, if you want to make a backup the not only to use external hard drives but sometimes it can also be handy to have DVD uh, media to show the videos or photos to your friends or family consider to subscribe and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching and have a wonderful day stay well peace out